Monkey. Does the monkey have a lighter? You got a lighter, mate? <laughs> He's sticking his tongue out at me. After surviving the death pier, I was on a beautiful Cambodian island with my sister and her friends. The weather was lovely, and we were staying in a quaint little place called the Chill Inn, where we had planned two days of sun, sea, and relaxation. Except I couldn't enjoy any of that because I was now on an intense diving course, even though I had a cold, infected knee wounds, and a chesty cough. <coughs> After completing my theory exam and doing my first day of diving, I was on the way back to the Chill Inn, and I was absolutely shattered. I'm now heading back towards the bar to see if anyone's even still up. My whole day has been doing this paddy course. We're leaving on the boat at 4 p.m. tomorrow, so I have to have finished another four dives by 4 p.m. tomorrow. Basically, it was looking pretty tight, especially since my friends had already booked the diving holiday and were relying on me completing the diving course. But I was determined. Day two of the two days of diving training. I've had breakfast, I'm currently enjoying this incredible view. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty insane. I'm gonna become a diver <clears throat> and have a cold. After the many confined and open water dives, various underwater exercises, and a grueling 200 meter swim, which by the way was definitely the hardest part because my doggy paddling technique is terrible, against all the odds, I was now a qualified open water diver. I am officially a qualified open water diver. Yeah! yeah. 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 Just hit 4 p.m., which just so happened to be the time that the ferry was leaving from the island. The ferry, which, by the way, only comes once a day. Uh oh. Thankfully, a diving boat managed to intercept the ferry just as it was leaving, and I managed to do an epic pirate jump from one boat to the next. Hey! See you later. Thanks. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hey, See you guys. Made it. Oh, I felt like a right badass, a qualified diving badass. Am I right? High <laughs> five? No, no, okay. Nice! Next we were back to the mainland to rest up for our final day in Cambodia. <laughs> After staying in uh, some jungle bungalows, some junglos for a few nights, I feel like I need something a little bit, a little bit higher class. So I'm staying here at the Diamond Hotel. Oh man, look at this! Woo! Let's see what the bathroom is like. Oh. Back it up, back it up. Oh man. Look at this, oh, look at this bathroom. Oh my days. Look at that view. Open this up. Mate, there's a pool with elephant statues. Oh, good Lord. Oh, good Lord. And then there's that there. But whoa. It really was nice to be able to sleep in a proper bed again and have hot running water. Oh God, plug sockets! Oh, I've missed you! Oh yeah, and plug sockets are always a plus. Oh, I've missed you, plug sockets! Yep, I like plug sockets. The next day. Bit of a sore throat, but it makes me sound husky, so it's okay. This hotel room is banging. It's the diamond, and you know high quality. It's breakfast time, 9.30. Let's go eat some food. In. After my tasty solo breakfast, our plan for the last day was to see some monkeys. And I bloomin' love monkeys. <laughs> that was too much, wasn't it? Sorry. I think I just saw some monkeys. Hi there. That's yeah. a goat, Joe. Basically, I'm just going to keep these sunglasses on my neck because I know what they're like. They're, they're Nicky stuff. Dirty little monkeys. I love them. <laughs> Monkeys! We bought some bananas to try and get the cheeky chappies over to us. Banana! Yeah. Mate, monkey and a goat in the same shot. The goat is coming straight for that banana. Ah, yeah. oh, the goat's like, oh, rejected. Monkey. Before long, they were gathering around to get their little monkey hands on our banana -y gifts. This monkey's coming up. Look at this little guy. He is so cute. So cute. Nice catch, bruh. Nice catch, bruh. 
gonna give a monkey a banana. There you go, mate. This little guy, however, was a little bit on the snobby side and wasn't accepting no low quality bananas. Yeah. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. I ain't having your low quality banana bar. Mm-mm. He's like, this one better be good. Let's give it a sniff. <laughs> Sassy monkey. <laughs> and this guy was just plain rude! Is he holding a lighter? Okay. Does the monkey have a lighter? You got a lighter, mate? <laughs> He's sticking his tongue out at me! How rude! <laughs> He's sticking his tongue out at me! <gasps> He's got a lighter. He's sticking his tongue out at me. Right back at you, mate. But we had managed to finally see some monkeys in Cambodia, and I was so happy about it. I've got to say, I do love a good monkey. That's all I wanted was to see some monkey. <laughs> and we did it, it was great. I love them, I absolutely love them. And I love you for watching this video. Let me know you enjoyed it by leaving a like, a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. At the end of the last episode, I showed you a picture and asked you to guess where I was. And the answer was, of course, the Colosseum in Rome. Woo! Yeah! That was easy. It's always easy. I should make it harder, shouldn't I? Um... And the winner of last week's competition is... <laughs> Zach Hart! Congratulations! <laughs> you, my man, win a seductive face. I've been really trying, baby. That was a bit much, wasn't it? And now for this week's competition, can you guess where I am in the following photo? Where's Stu? If you'd like to appear in an episode of Where's Stu, please send me a video of you saying, Where's Stu? To where is Stu at? at gmail.com. And I'll include your clip in a video. Thanks for watching, and matane! Goat way! <laughs> you little legend! <laughs> Please stop that. I ain't having y'all low quality bananas.